Welcome back to a huge haul. Let's unload it. Good old flea bag. Now, I didn't pick up a lot from the flea market this go around because sometimes I just don't find anything. So let's get into it. So first off, now this. Now I found this in two parts. First part was the actual case by itself without the game. So there's that. And I already own this, so this is gonna be up for trade, so I don't need an extra copy. Now, the second part I found in a different kind of case, and there's the actual disc, and it's in fair shape, so, and it works fine, so which is good for a dollar for each of these. Great deal. Now, I don't know anything. Whoa, <laughs> that was noisy. <laughs> I don't know anything about these cards. I'm a huge DBZ fan. I mean, Vegeta, hello, but these look pretty cool and I actually paid only about two dollars for each of these packs and I think they're complete. I don't know. They look cool. DBZ fan, made sense. <laughs> and they also came with these sleeves which were thrown in for free which is pretty sick. Now, whenever I was talking about the case earlier that that PS1 game came in, it came in this. Now, don't sleep on cases whenever it comes to flea markets because you never know what may, what might be lurking inside. And of course, I was, that was a sweet surprise for me because I'm like, I finally have something to fill the case with because I have a couple of PS1 games that don't have games in them and it's just case and manual only. So, there we go. Now, I love The Sims games for console, for console only. I don't play them on PC. I've always played them on console and this is my favorite one. And yeah, it's just the case. I think it's a, no, it's just case only. So, no man but that's okay if I ever find it loose I'll have it CIB and of course yeah great assist but who cares I'm actually missing this one and finally this now this case now this is a two-parter yet again because don't sleep on loose discs because you never know if you can find the case and menu online whether it be reproduction or on eBay Mercari wherever this was the eBay special for this case and manual because at the flea market I found Mario Striker charged loose for about I think five bucks which is not a bad deal and so online I went on eBay I looked around and I found this you know the case in the manual for a couple bucks so now it's complete in box all of this came from my friend Bart and a huge shout out to you dude thank you so much for contributing to my collection now I'm a huge, huge fan of demos for PlayStation 1 and PS2, and he was kind enough to send all this to me. So let's start off with this. Now, when it comes to the interactive sampler CDs, I'm only missing a couple. I already own this one loose, but I didn't have the sleeve for it. So he was kind enough to send me the sleeve, and it's pretty awesome. So I'm very excited to add that to my collection. And now, I don't really collect a lot for Xbox. I did let him know that, but for demos, I'm gonna take these on because these are pretty sick. And this one is, let's see, 007 Everything or Nothing. And it has like eight all playable Xbox demo games. There's that one. And then this one says all five new playable Xbox demo games, Deus Ex Invisible War. You've played that before. There's a lot of Xbox stuff I've never played before because I'm not an Xbox girl, I'm the PlayStation girl! And this one's Rainbow Six Three, has like 10 playable demos I believe is what it says. And then there's that one. And then Soul Calibur 2. Funny enough I just picked up Soul Calibur 2 maybe about a month or two ago for Xbox. Which is pretty sick. Still need to get it for GameCube though. That's the only way I'm missing it. Now, these are the ones that I was really excited to add. Now there are about three more for this but I'm currently in the process of cleaning the cases because my process is this whenever I get something I like to clean it I like to catalog it and I like to shelve it so these are done and they're ready to be shelved they've already been cataloged so that's my process whenever it comes to getting games from anywhere now let's start off with this one this is jam pack uh let me see it's on the side of oh, volume tw volume tw wait whoa this is volume 12 and then this one is, I don't know, volume 14. It's hard to see these things. I'm like, which one are you? Volume 14. And look at that. Dude, it even has the mail. These are in mint, mint condition. I was so excited. I'm like, holy shit balls. These are minty. Minty. And this one is, oh, well, it says it on the front. Dude. Winter 2003 for the jam pack. There's the inside of that one. Look at that. And then this one would be volume 10 for jam packs for 
PS2. Now, I don't know specifically how many jam packs are for PS2. There are several for PS1. There's like different volumes of demos for PlayStation 1. You have the interactive sampler CDs, you have the jam packs, you have PlayStation Underground. There is a plethora of demos for PlayStation 1. Now, the extra thing that he sent me, let me move these out of the way, were these. These big ass books, holy hell. <laughs> this one is the ultimate history of video games. It's actually pretty sick. Flip through. That's gonna be a heavy read. And then this one, this is the ultimate history of video games. I guess this is like a series. I don't know. I've never heard of these before, so gotta do a flip. Of course, there's two, two for one special. Good old Goodwill. Now, I did find more than this, but it was mostly Wii titles, and those are getting shipped off to Video Game Club. I've already got them boxed up. They'll be that way soon. So there's only one Wii game that I'm keeping for myself for my collection. And that was because I'm a huge, huge fan of Guitar Hero! And that is Guitar Hero 3 Legends. This is actually my favorite one and I didn't have it for the Wii, so I went ahead and bought it. Funny enough, they actually had a guitar over there, but the complete neck was gone. I'm like, what the fuck? How the hell did you bust that? But I don't know. And there it is. And it's ready to be shelved. It's in really good shape. Now, I don't know what the hell this is. It's by Bandai, and of course, whenever you think of Bandai, you think of Bandai the Game Company, Bandai Namco, and this is Zentrix. I have never seen this in my life. I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of animated show. If you know what this is, please let me know. Apparently, there are two parts to this, and this was sealed, and I think I got it for about two bucks, so I don't know. I'll give it a try at some point. It looks pretty interesting. Now, I was very excited to find PlayStation 1 games at my Goodwill because they are few and far between. And whenever I find something that I don't have, it's a good day for me. Now, one of these I do own already, and I'm a huge Spyro fan. Now, my original copy of Spyro, I gave that to a friend because they wanted to play Spyro. So I said I would eventually buy it again because it's not really an expensive title. And funny enough, a few months later, I find it. Now you're gonna think, they don't have the manuals. Well, so what? It don't matter. Don't sleep on this stuff just because it don't have a manual. You can find manuals online. I mean, you can even get a reproduction case if that suits your fancy if you don't like how the case looks. I mean, everything, it, you could piece stuff together. People do that whenever it comes to collecting. I mean, I do. I've already shown that. Now, Spyro the Dragon. Got this for $3. This is the one that I had to replace for my collection. It's in pretty good shape. I like the fact that, you know, it has the case. No manual, but I can pick up a manual whenever time I want. As long as it's back in my collection, that's what matters to me. And greatest hits, who the fuck cares? It's Spyro. Now, I already own You're the Dragon. This is my favorite Spyro game on the PlayStation 1, so I don't really need this one. This one will be up for trade. Now, the last thing that I got from the Goodwill was loose. Now, I've been seeing a lot of loose discs at Goodwill, but they're always in little baggies, and it's, you know, at mine. Now, I've seen them loose in, like, stacks before, too, but not at mine, like, in another one whenever I bought Budokai Tinka IT3 for 10 bucks. This was only $2, and this would be, if I could turn it around, this is Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec. This is Greatest Hits Edition. So I didn't have this in my collection and for $2, I'm not gonna let it sit there. I'm gonna pick up every PlayStation game that I can because I'm not leaving any PlayStation stuff behind. Triple store action going on. We have Luki, DK, and eBay. Now, normally I like to separate videos whenever it comes to like Luki games and DK oldies, but if I only buy like a small quantity, I lump them into my big ass videos. So that's what I'm doing now. So let's start off with DK. Now this one is Iron and Blood Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Apparently this is supposed to be some kind of fighting game. It looks really interesting. Definitely have to give this a playthrough because I am a D&D fan, so why not? Yes, I used to play D&D. I'm very nerdy. <laughs> Now, moving on to Luki games. Now, I bought three games, of course. Now, this time I wanted to go for stuff that I normally don't see, so I paid a little bit more for some of these titles because I've never seen them in game stores, and that's typically what I look for, as I mentioned time and time again, stuff I've never seen and stuff on the cheap side, typically, especially with Luki games because you know my track record with them. So to start off with, we have RC Racer. I didn't have this one. I think, I don't know how much I paid, how much? I think I may have paid about 11 for this one, maybe. Don't call me on that because that's, that's just going off from memory. So there's that one. Now this is the one that really caught my eye. This one is Adidas Power Soccer 98. Dude, 
This game is going for about 30 some dollars on eBay right now. And I got this for maybe about 12 to 13. And so whenever I look, whenever I look for anything, whether it be on Luki, DK, anything, even eBay, I always price compare. And for that amount, I'm demo picking this up. And plus, you know me whenever it comes to like any kind of FIFA or soccer titles, I'm always on the hunt for them because apparently they're more elusive for me than anything. I don't know why they just are. So yes, and this is, yeah. It still got sticker residue on it because sometimes their stickers don't always peel off the best. They can leave residue because Luki Games likes to put stickers on the back of their stuff. So I gotta clean that off. It should come off and make it look spiffy. It's not ready for shelving it, but it will be soon. And there's what it looks like. And now moving on to the last one, this is XS, XS Moto. I guess it's like a racer. It looks really cool. I don't know how much I pay for this, maybe about five bucks. So it was on the cheaper end. And now lastly, but of course, the most exciting things that I got, well, not this, but this. Now we'll start off with the less exciting thing, which is the Wii mode. Now, this came in two parts. The Wiimote itself came from the flea bag for about a dollar and it did work. I'm like, okay, this is Wii Motion, it is Wii Motion Plus and it didn't have a back for it. So the reason why I'm saying eBay is because I ordered the back from eBay and now it is complete and it's, I have an extra Wiimote, yay! I didn't have a red one, I have like the Ouija, Luigi, not Luigi, <laughs> Luigi. I have a Luigi one. I have a black one and I think I have two white ones and I think I may have a few more in the closet, but I didn't have this one. Now, the one that I was very excited to get from eBay. Funny enough, I won this on a bid. Now, I don't typically bid on stuff on eBay because my track record and my luck, I don't normally win. <laughs> I mean, case in point with Silent Hill 2, but I do have it, those things, hobby. But anyway, I was very excited to have this because I've been wanting to play another Persona game. After I finished Persona 2 Eternal Punishment, I'm like, okay, which one do I really want to play? And I've heard a lot of talk, a lot of talk from people about FES. So I'm like, okay, let me see if I can find it. Normally it goes anywhere from like 40 to 60, typically, typically. I got this one, I think for about 36 and then just CIB. Now, whenever I got this, I was kind of annoyed now, you'll notice it looks minty. Yes, the case looks minty and everything. Yeah, it's CIB. But this disc, this disc on the back was nasty. Ew. I'm like, what the fuck? Did you have a fun time before you dropped this off in the mail? <laughs> I'm like, okay, thanks. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it works fine. I've been playing it. I'm really enjoying my playthrough of this. So I'm very happy to add this to my collection to embark on another Persona adventure. This is a game I'm playing on my own time. So I'll eventually get somewhere with it. It'll probably take me months just to beat this one because I'm playing so much shit. It's ridiculous right now, especially for retro. But that is all the pickups that I have for you this time, my friends. I hope you enjoy seeing my hauls, all the magnificent games that I got to add to my collection for PS1, PS2, across the board. But until next time, this is the PlayStation Girl signing out. Game on!